Good morning. Welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday, the 4th of October. So looking at the euro dollar first and well, um, we're just looking like we're approaching the underneath the daily eight that we are sort of a quite a key test for a moment. Uh, if we can start breaking through that, well, we could be on towards the uh, weekly pivot. Um, as I said yesterday, um, I was sort of bearish for the euro, but with a divergence, a, minor, a very minor divergence sitting back there on the on the dailies there, um, not what I'd normally trade as such, but it sits there anyway. Um, we could see it running back at the 50 and the uh, daily, sorry, 4 hourly 50 weekly pivot or above us. Uh, could be reasonable targets as we run through. Just consolidating at the moment, any breakdown um, of the eight, um, maybe 21, we would uh, maybe on for the daily pivot, but at the moment it's, well, as I say, consolidating has, has the potential. May just run up to, as I say, not quite make the weekly pivot uh, today, but may uh, make that uh, 200 moving average there on the uh, 60 or the four hourly 50. Okay. Uh, pound pounds held up a little bit. There seems to be signs of some sort of uh, united front on the uh, conservative point, um, and but uh, not seeing too much reaction to the uh, conference. So as we run through here, well, um, it's just rolled around a bit. As I said, there was a bit of divergence on the four hourlies. We've seen that sort of running through. So, uh, um, well, there's a possibility we could push up higher at the moment, though. It's just uh, it's hard. The ranges are tight. Um, every time it tends to make a bit of this, uh, a bit of upside, it's uh, pulling back to the range, uh, back down towards that 32. Um, 35 sort of zone um so uh, at the moment it's just doing the same actually just putting the shooting star in back in short of yesterday's highs um and looking like it may just roll back towards the daily pivot a choppy one to three trading and uh, obviously risk with the conference still going on dolly yen um well it's uh pulled off uh just tested it's uh uh, daily eight again, quite a key moving average across these markets at the moment as we've seen retracements um, just bouncing off that at the moment. A break of that may see us coming through. We have got a, a monthly pivot below us, but see, there was also a weekly uh, pivot. You can just about see it. Maybe it's in fact, it's just come straight down to the alley. There we go. A dotted line there, the weekly pivot has just come just short of that on this uh, uh, broker. Let me just check on the. Um, Composite. Let's see if we've hit that. No, we haven't hit that on the composite either. Just checking. Um, so, we've still got potential for it to come back and catch that weekly pivot and maybe some more lower highs, lower lows at the moment. Um, although there is now an untouched daily pivot above. It'll be interesting to see how it consolidates this morning if we start seeing a push back. Uh, but uh, at the moment, it's erring on the downside there. Aussie dollar. So look at the bigger pitch first here. So again, it's uh, this one's pulled back. It's caught its weekly pivot to eight moving average. I've seen a bit of a reaction coming off of that at the moment, uh, along with that uh, four hourly 50. It's just above there. There, it's just uh, at the moment putting in what looks uh, quite bearish. Which again, uh, well, it may just this one if it can break through that uh, hourly eight may come down to the 21s may even have a bit more of a correction uh, they've got the daily pivot below so it does look um, a bit iffy at the moment didn't diverge or anything into the highs there it did, and it did extreme but uh, the, the movement to go back up and retest that has failed at the moment and finally the Canadian dollar so Canadian dollar a bit of a retrace um, it's the day to day so far at the moment at least it's uh, uh, we've just seen a bit of dollar weakness across the markets, really, um, and it's uh, showing here. Still got the weekly pivot below there at 24.39 uh, or 36 even. Um, still got the potential for it to retrace back towards that. Any consolidation here, and uh, we can start bouncing back through the 60 minute eight, get through those 21s. It could be up for the daily pivot, maybe a continuation of the bigger move, but for now, um, through most of these markets we're seeing that just that tad of 
uh, dollar weakness. Okay, that's pretty much it for me. Um, News-wise today, though, I should go through that services PMI, very important this morning, and that may what gives uh, the pound a bit of a livener. That's at 9.30. Um, we've got the ADP non-farm payrolls at 115. May get a little bit of volatility. We seem to get more these days from that again at 115. At 3 p.m. we've got the US for version of the services PMI. I refer to it as a non-manufacturing PMI. Uh, at 3 o'clock, then uh, crude oil inventory is 3.30, which may give the Canadian dollar a bit of a kicker. Draghi is speaking at 6.15 this evening. And uh, um, 6.15 due to deliver opening remarks at the inauguration of the ECB Visitor Centre. Is that really? That's not the day, surely it is. And uh, we've got uh, Fed Yellen speaking um, due to deliver opening remarks at Community Banking Conference at uh, 8.15. So a couple of speakers there unlikely to drop anything too important at either of those uh, two meetings by the looks of it but uh, markets may uh, uh, be a bit volatile around that period okay that's it for me have a great day bye for now mm-hmm.